So my name is Kamani. I go by Baby Esco, but I'm originally known as Prince Simba. Opportunities are everywhere. I was motivated to take it serious, really, and get involved with the GR Summer Project. When I got involved with the GR Summer Project, it was more like, okay, I want to do this to prove people that, you know, like, I have talent and I'm going to prove it to everybody. I performed one of my songs for Lee <clears throat> and Stephanie and they just fell in love with it. And I took the GR Summer Project pledge because I felt like, you know, it was the right thing to do for the city and for my family because, you know, I've always wanted to succeed and give back in some type of way to them. I wrote the song, boom, they loved it. So I'm like, okay, a radio station loved my song. So that's big. Then I got interviewed with them and they wanted me to perform at the station. I was like, okay, my first performance. And everyone there loved it. So I'm like, okay, people keep telling me that I have a gift. Okay, this is getting weird. The next thing I know, um, I performed at the GR Summer Project and they announced the winner already. And I was proud for the winner, you know, because he was a cool guy and we both were rappers. So it's like, okay, someone's doing it. Then out of nowhere, I got a reward too. And I was like, okay, this is weird. People are acknowledging my talents. Maybe I should stop goofing off and <laughs> take it serious. So you know, so I really influence all the kids. Anyone who feels like they're nervous or scared or don't feel like they'll get acknowledged, like do it, push yourself, believe in yourself, you gotta have faith. Anyone out there who's just have an inch of pledging, do it. Cause you're gonna be with me and Stephanie and Lee and they're great people. And we're gonna influence you and break that nervous system, break that shell, clean up the city, we're gonna rock the city. And everything we do is for the city. So come on down, take the pledge. But I've always wrote poetry. I've always wrote poetry. And my cousin, he just found some weird way to convince me that rap was poetry, you know. And one day, you know, it just, I just felt like, okay, maybe if I play around with it, I can have fun with it. But I wanted to do it the right way. I didn't want to follow no trend. I didn't want to, you know, be like everyone else around me. If anything, I wanted to take it back to where it started. Right, where do I see myself in five years? Um, coming back to the city, celebrating the fact that I'm giving back and that we have somebody who made it. So basically what I'm trying to say is I'm gonna be signed and on TV, rapping, touring, and the city's gonna be okay.